Okay. So, what we're going to do today... Okay, um... So today we have a new concept, and it's actually super easy to do. What the fuck is happening in the back? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, welcome to today. Today is Thursday, and today we have a free concept. So Thursday is the day where we can do whatever we want, whatever we like. And today we are having a Q&A. Yes, we're doing a Q&A. Because um, we asked you yesterday on my Instagram... Uh, to send in some questions, and we got a bunch. So we're just going to uh, take you through uh, the questions, and we're going to try and answer them in, uh, in an orderly fashion. There so we have a lot of questions. Okay. We're going to answer them. <laughs> uh, I don't like that everyone can see all the questions because there are some, some weird ones, but we just, we're just going to go over them. <laughs> Should we do all of them? Because I think everyone can see. How about you? How, how about you? Um, read read some that are um, okay, okay, uh, that are answerable, and it can be beatbox related. Let's start with the beatbox related question, and then we can uh, we can go into the more silly questions. So, well, this is kind of beatbox related, but um, mm -hmm. let me see. How do you came up with the idea of buying a house with your friends and start your YouTube and start YouTube? Well. I like how you can see me in the... <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that, is, that is funny. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so uh, how did we come up with... We, we actually wanted to, to live together uh, as soon as we got back from the... Um, after we went to France, you got in uh, somewhat of a fight with your girl <laughs> and uh, he, had to, he had to move uh, places. And after that, we, 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 we uh, played around yeah. with the idea of, of getting a house together. Um, we wanted to create a beatbox house and, and, um, yeah. And a few weeks back you were like, Hey Bjorn, um, I have this place, but I need to know right now if you can move in with me, uh, like within two days. And then I was like, yeah, that sounds pretty, pretty cool. And then one day later you were like, so are, are you moving in with me? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like and, you didn't really <laughs> give a clear answer <laughs> because this, this place, uh, because of the, the lockdown and everything, we couldn't actually go to the place. We just, uh, received some pictures of the house. Some really bad and, pictures. Um, <laughs> some really bad pictures. Not even the entire house was in there. And and I was like, yeah, let's do it. I was like, yeah, this sounds like a good idea. Let's yeah. live uh, here and uh, create some content. So that's uh, that's how we. And I mean, we already worked together with YouTube. Yeah. Like so I was I was filming the the content for Bart, and um, yeah, we were creating content. Yeah. So we are content um, creators. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I hope this is uh, the answer to your question. Let's go to the next one. Uh, let, read the, 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 the guy who asks the questions or the this, girl. Okay, this as well. so the last question was from Jan Pontman. Oh, that sounds Dutch. It or probably German. is Dutch. Okay, uh, what is your real name? Uh, what do you think, what do you do besides beatbox? My real name is Bart. <laughs> My real name is Bart. So there you go. Um... Imagine how much creativity went into the <laughs> to the to making of the name, and I didn't even come up with it myself. Wasn't your name uh, BPM before? My name was BPM before. Mm. Yeah, and I changed it to Beard, which is a good decision. Uh, I, I'm yeah. happy with the decision. Beard BPM sounds, is kind of whack. Sounds cool. Yeah, Fox <laughs> is whack too. Yeah, but, I know. You know, but uh, I'm still in my early stage. Is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's continue. <laughs> this was from uh, twenty Otabek twenty one. Okay. Why do you let me read the names? Yeah, because people like to, to have their okay. names in the video. Okay, sorry already if I say your name wrong. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Take it away, Voxel. Tata Tata 63kg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Says, are you play in the next GBB? Are you play in next GBB? <laughs> truly, truly Creed asks, what in your opinion is your best beatbox routine? For me. Or in general. He just asks. Okay. So, oh man. Uh, your best piece. So oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, start over. Easy. Easy. Best routine. Okay. Best of my routines. Yeah. Okay. Seenlin2002 mm -hmm. asks, what is the most important lesson you learned throughout your beatbox career? Oh. To enjoy yourself on stage. To yeah. be at ease on stage. And that it's not about battling. 
Oh, that's a, that's a good one. It's not about battling. It's about having fun. It's Creating about your the music. love and passion for beatbox. Uh, you're making my answer sound whack now. It's about the love and passion for beatbox. Okay, let's continue. If you notice, you were a dirty boy or girl. Uh, comment, <laughs> do the live comments. Oh. <laughs> I like. I think uh, Beatbox Bottle did like a uh, uh, or, or Beatbox Truth like a compilation uh, of, uh, of 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 people doing the. Can you do a yeet beatbox? <laughs> what is that? Yeet. Okay, never mind. Oh, Bonzo. Bonzo asks. Hey. What is what's in your eyes the hardest thing to do or manage in the life of an artist? Money. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I think because an artist is really, you don't have a because stable income. I, I think it, it, that's not not necessarily true because as an artist, you can create a, 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 a place where you can earn money from multiple directions. It's just as an artist, I feel like most artists that are actually doing it for the passion of the, the craft, uh, they don't care that much about money. They just want to do what they like to do. Mm -hmm. And it's sometimes it's difficult to find the right balance to doing something that you actually like and making money with that same thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good question, Bonzo. Uh, ah, this is an easy one. For how long do you beatbox? Oh, for about 15 years, I think. Is that right? 15 years? Or is it 10? I don't know. I think it's I'm old, guys. I'm... I'm not sure if you know this, but I'm I'm old. I'm I'm 25. Five I, years. I feel like I'm five years older than me, bro. <laughs> no, normally we'd be standing up doing this video. We had we have to use chairs. It's it's it's. You can't even walk. Getting, like if you saw, <laughs> if you saw his, uh, did you put? Never mind. The what? Did you post it on Instagram that we were in? The, in the in no the no that, that was Snapchat. That was Snapchat. <laughs> we don't post that on Instagram. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I. Because I'm gonna also answer the questions. Uh -huh. Like people don't give a fuck about me, but I'm still gonna answer the yeah, questions. Yeah, do it. Do it. Feel free. Yeah, you're a free bird. Yes. Oh, this question was by. I feel like. I... Okay, that was actually pretty <laughs> pretty well read. No. Um, for how long do you be box? I started in 2015, so that means it's like five six years now. That's why you suck. Yep. Where are you guys from? We are from Netherlands. Netherlands. Yes, <laughs> we live in a place called uh, Heerde. Heerde. At yeah. the... No, I'm not going to say the address. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you walk into Heerde, you would see our house. Like, it's yeah, but, yeah, literally. Basically. So, for all the fans out there that have a car and you live in Europe, come come visit us. Come Heerde. Come, come into the beatbox house. We'll get you a coffee. Yo, we have the best coffee. And we'll get you some water. Like... And we have the best water. We have the best water. Okay, so this is... Uh, Alem approves. <laughs> Alem approves. Uh, did you like Shazam? It's a question. Did, that's the question. Did that's you the like question. the guy Shazam? Yes, I like him. And it's like, it's like Shazam. Do you like Shazam? Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. He's, very, cool. he's a very funny guy. Um, every time we hang, we have... A lot of fun. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. We do drink a lot of beer. Uh, maybe I, we shouldn't say that on the... Eat a lot of dinner. Um, <laughs> we eat a lot of dinner. Uh, it's We eat very unhealthy, but we have... Um, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot That's of fun. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Yeah. Very funny guy. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the kickback winners? Did SBX mess up or is it a good list? Watch the video from yesterday. Yeah, we made a find complete out. video about what we thought about the kickback battle. Favorite GBB drop of all time? Oh, I, I think, know mine. Yeah, I think it's okay. You you go first. Okay, so I'm a looper, right? Yeah. So I have to say it's uh, two nap versus gone, where he does the where he does the comeback of the I keep rolling, 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 and he and two nap does the comeback, and it's so quick, and it's for me, it's mm. like ten times better than gone's oh, routine. Loop station. So it's really good. Okay. Uh, the first thing that popped in my head was uh was the one with napalm, like. Oh. Like That's that one is. 16? No, later. 17 or so. 17 or 18. I, I, hmm. I'm, I'm a little bit lost with the years. But yeah, obviously, like, uh, 2H. Yeah. First, Alex Chino had a really sick, sick job. Come to H, I just want to vibrate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was actually, that was, that was good. That's good. Yeah. For six years? 
for six years for six years that's 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 <laughs> solid a solid double voice <laughs> this is, i like this question it was from harris ellington like this is a name i can pronounce guys Work on your Instagram names. Yeah, what, what, what is up with these these crazy ass <laughs> names on Instagram? People are like, I I want to have a secret persona on in, on on the interweb. Oh, this one is from Mills. We we know. Well, I know Mills. I don't know if you know Mills. Um, it's a looper. He's a looper. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, will any other Dutchies Dutchies come visit like Yarnell, Dozzy, Ibora, etc.? I mean, they're all welcome. Right. Oh, you mean at this place? Yeah, of course. They're all welcome. Maybe Everyone's, they will be in the video. There is there is so much space. There is so much space. We Ooh, can have this is a good question. So much beatboxers. A good add-ons. Should we do? <laughs> we have coffee for everyone. Should we do an MTV Cribs <laughs> video <laughs> of the house? We should. Let, let, let us know in the comments. This is a this is, this is our fridge. Head. It's usually just full with um, <laughs> soy milk <laughs> and coffee. Okay, okay, okay. This one is nice. Describe your three achievements, but I'm gonna make it the three like most valuable achievements for you. Okay, you're asking me this. Uh, I would say um, the first Dutch championship I won was very valuable for me. Uh, I mean, my battle against Bobbly was very valuable for me. And uh, being second place at the World Championships was really valuable for me. Okay. I think for me, it will be becoming Dutch Loop Station champ. Yeah. Making the, um, the Looping Masters final. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For me, pretty good. That was that was good. And I think, mm, like Florida was was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm gonna go for the for the 2019 Dutch Championship where I became tag team champion. Oh, with Benja, and uh, yeah. and third place solo. Third place because solo because I didn't participate in Loop Station. No, he was like, <laughs> I wanted one year, so that that be it for the rest of my life. Yep, <laughs> you need to stop at your peak, right? That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you stop then? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, how did you learn? How did you learn your inward bass, Bart? It says Muzamam Real. Ah, oh, that's a good one. After the uh, the Laku battle, uh, we did some. Uh, uh, so after the Laku battle, there was a guy called Marcus from mm-hmm. Spain. Um, he he didn't post that much, so some new schoolers might not know him. But Marcus was the one that invented the inward bass, and he had these crazy routines where he would go like uh, level one, and and <clears throat> like he does it way better than than I do this uh, this inward bass, like level one, and and he he you he incorporated that that sound just as a voice, mm-hmm. not even as a sound that much uh, at the Lacu battle, and I was like I have to learn this I. It's no way that he is the only one who can do this. And I was yeah. practicing this. And at one point, I got across the um, the normal inward bass. I would call it the... Dip, 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 dip. And then um, I noticed I could do like a lower one by bending my neck and, 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 and letting it get, letting it Snap come from, neck. From, from lower. So, um, yeah. So And then I was like, I, I, I wanted to create a different kind of bass than Marcus used it. Um, so I used the... Um, I call it the lower inward bass. Yeah. Lower inward bass. Oh, no. good, good explanation. No. Okay. Um, you wanna you wanna have some non beatbox related questions? Go for the silly questions. Okay, it's not especially silly, but where should I start learning about sound mastering and production? <laughs> That's silly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, sound mastering and production. Um, I think YouTube. YouTube is your best friend. Yeah, most of what I learned is from 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 YouTube. Well, like like there are some great YouTubers like Andrew Wong and 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 some Cara? other guys. Kara is pretty good. The girl. Oh yeah, you, 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 you look you look at Kara. She has like very short videos that explain uh, how to do certain tricks. Yeah, and and just by doing it a lot, I think, uh, just do it a lot, like a lot of uh, record some tracks. Uh, try to try to make them sound as good as possible. That will help you massively. Yeah. All right. Good question. Next one. Uh, Beatbox meme underscore dank. Says that's gonna be a good question. <laughs> says can tell you are the only one. You are the only who looks really sweet and dangerous at the same time. Because I am very sweet and really dangerous and really dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this I like this one. So Tremor Beats says top three beatbox sounds of all time. Uh, beatbox sounds. I mean, what are sounds without? Don't a beat? be so diplomatic. Top three beatbox sounds. There are no top. Three beatbox sounds for me. For you. Like you can have a great crazy sound and then use it in a shitty way. 
<laughs> like it's the way you use the sound. Just say BTK. <laughs> the fundamental of beatbox. <laughs> the kick, the snare, and the, the hi hat. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Um, can you upload more tutorials? Says Desvalu710. Uh, maybe. Maybe in the future. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, when are you doing a mic and loop station giveaway? We're not doing it. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. If this show uh, takes uh, on the ground, we go skyrocket. We give uh, many gifts away to the PayPal's. Okay, what? Oh my god, that's the one we missed. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. How to face... Okay, so Josh2812 mm -hmm. says, How to face the crowd if it's your first time on stage? First time is first time is just listening to Nike what Nike always says just do it <laughs> just just go to, no, this for is real really like bad. This no is no really but, but <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm making a joke but also a point I'm making joke <laughs> the only way you will learn to be um, more calm comfortable. comfortable on stage is by going on stage so yeah, true that's why I would say just go on stage don't wait until you're ready because you would will never be ready if you haven't had these first experiences. And also like not 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 only battling wise but also like performance wise like like take as much like free performances exact especially in the beginning of your beatbox do everything every opportunity you have take the opportunity and be more comfortable and be more comfortable in front of stage be or yourself. in front of a crowd. No, but it's be true. yourself. It's true. Everybody else is taken. Oh, bro. <laughs> Football G Shout out to Foodbox G. <laughs> Shout out to Foodbox G and and your and your wisdom. <laughs> your wisdom. I want you to leave us all speechless in the kickback battle, says Auto Blue Prone09. Doesn't sound like a question, but we'll try. We'll try. We'll try. Ooh. In your Meme Monday video, was there beer in yours and Voxel's coffee mug? This is for us to know and for you to find out. No. Okay. <laughs> no, I uh, I I I I do like my coffee. Yeah, coffee is like like there's coffee, I hope, in here, maybe. This is pure vodka. <laughs> but what are you drinking? Some uh, tequila with coffee. Tequila. Tequila. Ah, this is Rainesh Chug. Is the one ah, from the flip from me, flop me. My, me Monday. It's good. And he says, not a question, but my friends have started me calling the flip flop boy. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Good for you, bro. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Dutz from Brazil? Well, I think we covered this in many videos. Yeah. I gave him way too much compliments. Dutz is amazing. <laughs> like, there's a, there's a lot of the same questions, so I'm just trying to find the, the right questions. <laughs> do you have any tips for lip synth? I think that's that. <laughs> Just try to go from 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 low to to high uh, and back, and and see if you can hit all the frequencies without like um, without too much Asshole. distortion. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one is nice. Uh, so Divitzer <laughs> says, "How often do you train, guys?" Question mark. Not enough. Not enough. I think I think we 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 chill a lot, and uh, but also we beatbox. The whole day, basically. But also, like, in my first, what is it, five, six, seven years, I've practiced a lot. Like, I didn't do anything else than practice. Like, I didn't do anything else than practice. <laughs> Not No food, no sleep, <laughs> no. no. But I, I practiced a lot, and I feel like it's it, it comes down more, like, if I if I want to prepare for, for a battle or whatever, it's it comes down more to placing the like sounds that we the routine. yeah making routine and, and getting everything uh, uh there's a better word for this uh composing uh, yeah it's it's more about composing than actually learning new mm. techniques and sounds okay even though learning new techniques and sounds is yeah awesome but like it's, like it's you great too. like you keep training like like basically maybe it's not like training training but you whenever you beatbox you train yeah okay next one is from asura pereira how did you and Voxel meet? How did we meet? Was that on a was that on a Let meeting? Let me tell you a story about how we meet. That you don't even remember this, bro. Oh, I thought you wanted to play a song. 
I'm gonna. This is not the right sound. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay, so. <clears throat> Once. Story time. Once there was a meeting between. Two friends. Two friends. But actually, no, we didn't really know each other yet. No. So it was. Okay, okay, okay. Um. So there was, back in the day, you had TeamSpeak, right? TeamSpeak. TeamSpeak. And I went there on the first time when I, when I know there was TeamSpeak. And TeamSpeak. Then, <laughs> and then there was Timmy and Beard also on the TeamSpeak. Timmy and Beard. Yeah. Uh, so Beard was like, yo, did you know there's a community? And I was like, what? Community. And I was like, whoa, community? No, I don't know. Um, so, but, but, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to it, just wait. And then Bart was like, yo, there's a Facebook page. One sec. There's someone at the door. Yeah, okay, okay. and we're back. So, the story. Yes. So, um, so we, we talked we about- We got a package for our internet. This is so annoying, What bro. people didn't know is that we actually, all the videos that we recorded and <laughs> placed on, on YouTube, we did with the hotspots on our phones because we just lived here for, for, uh, for one week and we still don't have internet. Yeah. So, so it's everything we're hotspot. doing right now is by our hotspots. Yeah. So it's not ideal at all. No. Uh, but we by are, um, I think next Monday or so, they're, they, yep. they might make the, uh, the, the internet work. Oh, you again. can see it like that. What? Like right there, this pink box. Oh, the pink box is our just, internet. <laughs> yeah, that's our internet. Okay, so but okay, it's, okay. So the story uh, continues. We yeah. were a uh, uh, Facebook page community, and I was like, okay, Bart, cool. I'm gonna add the Facebook page. Facebook page. Yeah, and then they're on the Facebook page. They said like, yo, there's a meeting next Sunday, Sunday or Saturday, or whatever day it was. And Sunday. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go there. He was gonna go there. I was gonna go there. So we went to. Utrecht, the city in, in the Netherlands. Utrecht. Utrecht. Um, and then there were like, this was the biggest meeting ever. There were like 30, 40 people there. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot of beatboxers. Um, the funny thing is, I didn't even beatbox the whole meeting. You didn't beatbox. But then there was Bart. That was me. And I looked into his eyes. And there was love. <laughs> at first sight. <laughs> And that's how we met. <laughs> now we rented the hotel room. <laughs> and <laughs> and sorry, not, sorry, not shortly, <laughs> not shortly after, we, 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 we. I can't take this series anymore. Okay, so we did. Go, 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 in the meantime, we it's did. Good, it's good. It's good. Okay. In the me. In the meantime, we did GBB. GBB. Don't look this up because it's really bad. Um. And then we keep just hanging out, being friends. We did. And I judged Apical Talent. <laughs> Apical Talent. So Apical Talent was a talent show in my village where I lived. And I competed with the loop station. And they asked Bart to judge. And they needed a, um, a judge just for you guys. <laughs> a they needed a judge specialist <laughs> just for the beatbox. And. Um, that's why they asked me. They were like, yo, there are two beatboxes competing and we don't know anything about beatbox. Can you judge this? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So it was like a local local talent show in a church where he performed really bad. And But you still want some money. <laughs> yo, actually, like the first time I participated, uh -huh. I won second place. Mm -hmm. And I won the people's choice, like the people's best. Uh -huh. And I made more money <laughs> than first place. Uh, first place, yeah, yeah. You can, just, okay. you can just stack everything. Okay, I think the question is is, is enough answer. Like, we just hang out a lot. Um, yep. Did a lot of gigs. I went to, to well, a lot of gigs. We did some gigs. Oh, we did Holmes Good Talent also. We did. Um, and I mean, we just, when, whenever he goes to an event and I can go, I'm going to join to the event. And we just... We just had a lot of fun. This guy is crazy. Uh, for the people at home, like, <laughs> I've been to the first GBBs. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Okay. So, the first GBBs I went to, I uh, I was like, um, like, I was a kid. I didn't have that much money to spend. I would just go to, to GBB 
And a lot of people would go like this, like they would just go to GBB and sleep on the floor and stuff. And Switzerland was expensive, especially for when I started uh, going to the GBB events. I would just, this is, this is a true story. I would buy, this is true. I would buy like a big loaf of bread for like two, uh, um, uh, what is the money called? Yeah, uh, francs. For, uh, like, uh, like two francs, like which is about like two euro or one euro eighty. Um, and I would just eat that loaf of bread just like <laughs> just like this for the entire week um, just because I didn't have money for yeah. any food but this <laughs> mofo he just like he would just go with me to any event and he would just he would be like hey Beard so I have 12 euros to spend this weekend <laughs> and we don't have a place to sleep yet and I'm like what you have 12 euros he's like wait no i'm kidding it's eight <laughs> and then i'm eating my my, my <laughs> your loaf of bread <laughs> oh man and it's like yeah yeah no worries i can ask my money for my <laughs> i can ask my mom for uh for like okay. 20 euros and okay, um, gonna... so yeah yeah so that is what passion looks like. It's <laughs> going to an event without money and, and, and... But you're making it like I'm, I'm like really poor, like nothing. Like, but it's like, that happened once maybe. Okay, maybe twice. That happened like a bunch of times. Where you're like, <laughs> like we need to survive for three days more and I'm, 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 I'm having like <laughs> 12 euros on my bank account. <laughs> but he's like, no worry, brother. <laughs> No, and and I never worried, and it always it was all fine. worked out. It always fine because if you don't have money to spend, you don't spend money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, but I mean, like the first time I went to GBB, I was like, I was seventeen. I just became seventeen. Uh huh. So it was like, like like when you're seventeen, you don't have like a lot of money. No, I know. That's why I ate a loaf of bread. Yeah, I did the same first GBB. I I had a bread with Killian. Uh-huh. And we we buy a jar of Nutella, and this was everything we had for the whole GBB. Yep. From all the choices you make, like a Nutella <laughs> bottle, it's like four euros. Yeah, but this is, this is Killian bought this, so I don't give. <laughs> <laughs> don't swear. Okay. Don't you swear? Okay, so swearing is bad. Oh my God, my <laughs> Okay, so anyway, it's a family-friendly podcast. Family friendly. It's, not a po- it's not a podcast. It's a uh, Q&A. It's a, it's a Q&A. Okay, so let's just continue the question. So I hope your question is answered. Um, how many times you practice to say, okay, I'm ready for a beatbox battle? <laughs> what? How many times? <laughs> how many times you practice? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Is oh, man. bass or basics more important to you? No, that was a good question. Oh, Okay, you make a lot of fun of it, so I was like, okay. No, it's just a, it's it's just funny the way you put it. But the the question is, how much mu- how much time do you practice? No, how many time you practice to to say, okay, I'm ready for a beatbox battle. Okay, so as I said before, um, you are ready. Okay, there is no point in time that you will be ready until you go for it. So just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. Just do it. Just just do it. Just do it, you guys. Okay. Is bass or basics more important to you, says this key beatbox? Yeah, basics. Man, that's not even a question. <laughs> basics come first. When start over part two, version two. I think, <laughs> I think at this moment, it's a classical piece. We shouldn't touch <laughs> this beautiful piece <laughs> that it is. I think we should leave it as it is. Can any of you manage to do vibration bass? <clears throat> wait, wait. That's how far I got. <clears throat> That for six years, folks. Yeah, right. That you become so good as me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I love how you laugh at your own jokes. Yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> That's funnier <laughs> than the actual joke. Okay, so Automatic Beats <laughs> asks, do you think German champs are going to be up what? 
Going to be what? Going to be up this year. But how do you, how should you know if German champs are going to be up this year? Because I'm always judging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think so. I think I think if any scene in Europe will have this covered, it's the German. Scene. It's probably the German scene. Mm. Yeah, or the French. French yeah, for French. Yeah, it's okay. good. Okay. Um. Okay. What music do you listen to except beatbox? Actually, I don't think you listen to beatbox that often, right? I barely listen to beatbox. Hmm. I so, sometimes, sometimes when I'm in the mood, I'm listening. I'm listening to some good beatbox tunes. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's like when I watch beatbox, it's almost like I'm watching sports. You know, like it's like it's like competitive wise. It's like, oh, that's just a sick sound. Like he mastered that sound or that technique. That's cool. You know, like that's like he won the game. You know what I mean? And and if I listen to music, I'm I'm listening for the pleasure of my ears. Yeah. 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 Okay. If that makes sense. But what kind of style? Like what genre do you listen? But if I listen to beatbox, I listen to duds. No, listen. Oh. <laughs> Can I leave? Can I? This is a good okay, part. no. What kind of music music genre do you listen to? Oh, I listen to uh, to drum and bass, house, trap. Uh, I even listen to techno, to psy trends sometimes. Uh, we listen to a lot of jazz vibes. Jazz vibes is the way to go. Nowadays, yeah. All right, so, um, Beard. Yeah. Why are you so ripped? Why am I so ripped? I mean, look at these arms, bro. Oh my god, uh, look at this. Uh, look at uh, this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not ripped at all, but. Um, I mean, I'm, of course, are ripped. I mean, you can see everything. Yeah, he is, so, he's so been bulking his so entire life. For 20 years. He's guys. been bulking up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been throughout lockdown and Love Pills best beatbox track going? Okay, so he's just asking, how have you been throughout the lockdown? I've been good. It's fun. We got it. We got our own place. I'm happy. Yeah. Um, making content. Making content. We, um, yeah. It's good. Yeah. How about we're, you? We're not doing too bad. We're doing fine. Not too shabby. <laughs> no, no, nothing too shabby. We have our own dishwasher. <laughs> we have we, our own We got dishwasher. our own dishwasher. <laughs> Which is um, a such a dad thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big, it's a small step for mankind. Oh no, it's, it's a small step for man, but a big leap for mankind. <laughs> okay. A dishwasher. Okay, be honest. Which one do you prefer, old school or new school? It says Shivendas16. I think a good combination is nice. I mean, like the very, like, like for my enjoyment, like the old old school is not that much enjoyment for me anymore because the just the um it's too simple. It's or? maybe yeah, it's maybe too 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 simple. I mean they like what I love about old school beatboxers is that they mastered some sounds. Yeah. Like it, yeah. like if it's just a kick or a snare and their timing is always impeccable. It's yeah. Yeah. The timing is okay, always Okay, so if you if good. you should name if you should name a beatboxer that is like a really good like hybrid between Slither, Gene, I don't know. Um, okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay. That's a good hybrid. Yeah. Like Slither is pretty. <laughs> pretty I like good. I like it when beatboxes make routines instead of just patterns. Mm. Just like patterns that uh, this crazy pattern, then this crazy pattern. I, I, I talked about this yesterday. Yeah. Danny, Daniel500 asks, how come you're so passionate about beatbox? Because it's the best thing that you can do with your life. Yeah. Making sounds with your face. Like it's an instrument without having an actual instrument. And it's your face. And it's your face. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know like I know where the buttons are it's now. The best thing to happen to anybody. That is Ooh. solid. <laughs> okay. Um, Nidos N asks, how old are you? Are I all think of you? I already said that, but it seems to be I'm 25 and years old. And I'm 20. No. You could be my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being my dad. I would be <laughs> so disappointed. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you could become anything you wanted. 
and then you became, became a beef fucker. Disappointment. I mean, disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dad. Thank you for this. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm gonna translate this. Uh, Jim Tolo asks, "How does it feel to represent the Netherlands in the future battles?" I mean, you've always represented the Netherlands, but how does it feel like? I, I mean, I like to 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 represent the Netherlands. I'm just, I just want other beatboxers from the Netherlands to also. Um, yeah, I'm trying my best, yeah. Uh, I'm trying, like on solo, not not just not just uh, machines. I, I mean. Yeah, no, it's. I mean, I I'd like for for new uh, uh, solo beatboxers to rise up in the Netherlands and kill it. And I have a, a few students that are killing it right now. They are crazy. Yeah. And you will see more of them in the future. Yeah. Mark my words. Mark his words. BR, Mark my words. That BR Benja is. Oh. That Benja is also gonna. Hmm? That Benja is gonna pop up in the international scene. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, that's my opinion. Mark my words. <laughs> okay, okay. How is your, this is a COVID-related question, how is your country dealing with COVID over where you are, law from the USA? The what? Okay, so the question is, how is your country dealing with COVID? Oh, how is our country dealing with COVID? Well, we're in a lockdown right now. This is basically a prison. <laughs> you see these walls? No, it's... It's 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 fine. It, like the um, normally, I would teach beatbox classes. Uh, I have two beatbox school locations in the Netherlands where I teach beatbox, and I really enjoy doing that. And I can't right now because of the lockdown. And the lockdown would last until the nineteenth this month, and they uh, extended. It. They they yeah they 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 extended postponed. it. You know yeah so they. They postponed opening the country uh, for mm. for three more weeks. So, uh, so like beginning beginning of February? No, I mean like mid February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it will take a long time before my students can have lessons again, which is a shame. It's a I, shame. I I wanted to teach again, and um, but we have a lot of time now to create content, content. which is exactly. nice. So, and I think um, we're through the questions. That was it. That was it. There were a bunch of fun questions in there. Thank you guys for for shooting me questions. Keep um uh, uh follow him and follow me on Instagram if you want to be a part of these videos and if you want to send in uh questions or memes or yeah. or stuff for us to 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 go over. Um yeah. Yeah, and we we ask a lot of things on on Instagram for the YouTube videos. So keep in mind that yeah. your questions, and, memes, right or etc. And Instagram. we do New videos from Monday to Friday. People, we didn't say that in previous videos yet. From Monday to Friday, we have new beat, uh, new, new videos coming up. New content. New content for you guys. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this week so far. Yeah. Already. And I hope this is a line at eight, <laughs> 8 p.m. I hope it's a line. Let's, on let's 8 do eight thirty. Let's do eight thirty. Okay. And uh, anyways, you you'll see it when you watch it. I yeah. Mean, yeah. That's how. See it is. you in the live chat. All right, guys, this was the video. Thank you for watching. Okay. This was the Q&A show with me, Art and Voxel. Signing out.